it doesn't matter. Those who live near our oceans, near our lakes, in our mountains, in our valleys, in our arid and semi-arid areas, they are one people, one great nation called Kenya. And I want to commit, pledge, and undertake that we will serve the people of Kenya equally. And no part of Kenya, no community in Kenya, no section of Kenya, no region of Kenya shall be left behind. We are going to walk together. I say this to our representatives. Every MCA knows that they were never voted by all the people in their ward. Every member of parliament knows the same, that they were never voted by all the people in their constituency. And so does my friends governors. They know that not everybody in their county voted for them. But they also know that they must serve all the people, whether they voted for them or did not vote for them. Professor, you and me have the honor to serve the people of Kenya. And as I have said before, we will serve the people of Kenya equally, those who voted for us and those who did not vote for us. The government of Kenya equally belongs to all the people of the Republic of Kenya. Let me also say the following, because this is a very important occasion. to underwrite that our judiciary works, that our legislature works, and we will make sure that our executive works and serves the people of Kenya. I know that we've gone through a journey, but in this journey, we have affirmed to both ourselves as the people of Kenya, to our friends, and to the international community, we have affirmed that Kenya is a constitutional democracy founded on the firm foundation of the rule of law. We believe in freedom and we believe in making sure that no Kenya, no Kenyan and no, none of us is left behind. Today we stand here as a people, united, peaceful, because we are a democracy, we, are, we believe in our constitution, we believe in the rule of law, and we are a free people, and we make choices. Let me also say this. To all of us who are public servants, it doesn't matter at what level. To all of us, we are reminded on this very historic day that we serve at the pleasure of the people of Kenya and we serve under the provisions of the law and the constitution of the Republic of Kenya and that none of us, irrespective of the office we hold, is greater than what our Constitution says. We must obey, we must submit to the law and to the Constitution because that is what makes us a nation. Let me say this as I conclude. We have made stride as a nation. Today, our savings as a percentage of our GDP is growing. We have changed and we have transformed our education system. Today, we have more teachers. We just announced another 20,000 teachers. 
we have a new funding model that is student-based, which we are refining to make sure that no 